Ashi. You can use tapping to address financial problems and to create abundance in your life. The best place to start with this is to think, how do I want to be instead of what I have been experiencing? If you can create an idea in your mind of the you who is able to attract money, qualities, experiences to yourself in just the kind of way that you want, if you're able to do that in full technicolor in your mind with all the sounds and feelings that go with it, then the chances are that you'll be able to actually create that reality for yourself. What tends to happen is that when we go into our imaginations in this way, we get all kinds of interference, what I call yes buts showing up. And they may come in the form of thoughts like, yes, but I'm not good enough to have that. Or, yes, but I wouldn't like people looking at me if I had that. First step is to work out what are the yes, buts for you. And then we can apply the tapping to these particular yes, buts. Let me give you an example for that. Even though I just don't feel good enough to have exactly what I want in my life, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I just don't feel good enough to have what I want in my life, I deeply and completely accept myself. Repeated three times and then tapping each of the points in the sequence, I just don't feel good enough. I just don't feel good enough. I just don't feel good enough. Tapping round and finishing up on the top of the head point, I just don't feel good enough. Now the fact of emphasizing this thought, I just don't feel good enough, will have set off a kind of internal search. In your mind, your brain will be whirring through all of the kind of past experiences where you may have learnt I'm not good enough. So at this point, ask yourself the question directly, when did I first learn I'm not good enough? The chances are that you'll go to some particular memory, perhaps a school memory, that's where lots of us learn I'm not good enough. Perhaps some particular situation occurred when you made that decision, I don't understand. I'm stupid. I'm not good enough. When you're able to identify maybe two or three really significant experiences where you may have learnt I'm not good enough, then you've got some really worthwhile material to work with, with the tapping, to clear the interferences to you naturally attracting abundance into your life. The way to, use, to do this is just to use the movie technique whereby you take these two or three memories and give them particular titles that sums up kind of what happened. Perhaps if it's a school memory, it might be something like, Mrs. Brown humiliated me. And rate the intensity of how you feel, it, feel about it right now, and then begin your tapping like this. Even though I have this Mrs. Brown humiliated me memory, I deeply and completely accept myself. Repeat it three times and then tapping through the points with the phrase, Mrs. Brown humiliated me, Mrs. Brown humiliated me. And as you're doing that, you can be running through the actual details of the memory. Finishing up at the top of the head point, Mrs. Brown humiliated me. And then rating the intensity on your 0 to 10 scale of how strongly at the beginning point you feel about this memory right now and then how strongly you feel about it having done some tapping. These memories are what are getting in the way of you attracting abundance to yourself right now today. Once you've cleared two or three of these significant memories, go back to thinking to yourself, how do I want to be? Who will I be? How will I be looking? The me that is able to effortlessly attract to myself the things that I want in my life. 
whether that be financial abundance, relationship abundance, or more peace and love in your life in whatever form that you choose. The chances are that when you go back, you'll be able to get a clearer picture of the you who is able to attract exactly what you want into your life.